right guys today I wanted to try something that we haven't done on the channel before and that is a 15 minute unedited hunt of the Val de Bois River uh, I figured that would be the best place to try this on so there will be one little edit because Bandicam can only record for 10 minutes and I want to make it 15 so that's gonna be the only thing that will be like a little jump uh, there but other than that it should be completely unedited and the other thing I wanted to say is that to get the most out of this video, I am going to start the unedited part as soon as we find an animal. So let's go find one and get it started. Okay, we got a little red deer in our sights. Alright, the fun begins. 15 minutes to go. I like using my 454 if I get the chance because I do have my 7mm bullpup maxed out. Or do I now? Because I guess I don't anymore, so I can use either one, but uh, I did have it maxed out before they changed everything, so yeah, I guess I can use both. I kind of forgot about that, so that's cool. I can start using uh, some of the other weapons that I kind of forgot about. And of course, I've, I've been using the bullpup anytime that I do something like this, either the bullpup or the 30 odd 6. Uh, just because they're good repeating rifles that are strong, but there's a couple things that I did want to talk about since this is going to be an unedited episode. It kind of has to be something to be talking about, otherwise a lot of this is just going to be me aimlessly running through the wilderness hoping to see something. So the first thing that I did want to say is that this week I will not have the opportunity to host a multiplayer game. Unfortunately, uh, I'm just not going to have the time, so I'm not going to be able to host one this week. And uh, since I brought up multiplayer, I guess I'll just say that I do anticipate some more multiplayer content on the channel. Uh, by that I mean uh, me and some friends hunting stuff together. What's that? Uh, okay, that's a golden brown bear, actually. Unfortunately, I can't shoot it because it's going to my barrel and that will hurt the attractiveness. And... Uh, don't want to do that so we're going to just let let her keep walking uh... what was i saying yeah multiplayer content uh... because since i'm getting out with my friends more there's a red fox over there okay they trot in so it shouldn't take too long to be able to see it in fact i might see it already gotta put the scope on the 223 But yeah, I'm getting to hunt with my friends more, and I just enjoy that a lot. I didn't get to do it a lot over the last two months uh, with archer season and other things kind of impacting that. But getting to over the last week, I realized how much I missed it, and I enjoy it a lot. So I probably will have more of that on the channel. Let me know if you guys uh, like that or not. I, don't, I know some people don't like to... Uh, watch the collabs and that kind of thing with other YouTubers. They just like to have the YouTuber themselves on the channel. And that's fine. But I, I'm probably going to be doing it. So let me know if you guys like it or not at least. And uh... What was I going to say? That's the other... Oops. Should have written down what I wanted to say. If I could get the right weapon out I can actually see the fox. Uh... He's behind the rocks. Alright, got him. Cool. Uh, if I could remember <laughs> what I wanted to say for this, that would have been a really good idea to write it down, but um, let me think for a minute. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wanted to do more of this unedited content, especially in the future when I get uh, potentially a new gaming computer, uh, hopefully within the next month, month and a half. I don't really know when I'm going to be able to get it, but hopefully soon. So I'm going to put my scope back on my bullpup really quickly. I just thought of that. So hopefully I can do one more unedited content. Because the reason I can't at the moment is that this computer takes absolutely forever to upload things. Uh, a 15 minute video right now takes like six and a half hours to upload. Which is why I do upload on the schedule I do. I have to upload overnight. Or uh, otherwise I really wouldn't be able to play that much. And that's kind of how I make videos. I record them by playing. So, yeah. That's why I don't do much of it now. And I'd like to do some, like, longer unedited things as well in the future. Like, 
Let's see what this guy scores. It's gonna be a solid one. 16. Like, maybe like an hour long duck hunt or something. I don't know. Just some uh, alternative content to just keep things different on the channel. Because I know just let's go hunting in a montage video. I just heard a rodeo. There's one around here somewhere. It's over here. Guess we'll just go running after it. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I know that a let's go hunting video and then like a montage or even a challenge video can get probably kind of boring after a while. Just week after week. So that's why I like to uh, change things up and just get varied content on the channel. So that way you guys aren't bored by everything. Well, that's an unspooked road here. And that was to the left, I believe. Yeah, straightforward, actually. Uh, we're just going to run. Road deer run relatively slowly, so it wouldn't be too hard to shoot it as it's running away. What's that? Okay, now we'll walk. We got a red deer over there as well. And two red deer, or is that a bear? Two red deer. So, I see the red deer as well. She's up there. I'm gonna get to a point where I can. We'll just run a little bit to get further and rendered and try to get both of these red deer. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be a possibility, but if we can get up on this rock, there we go, we'll see if we can get these red deer. I'm not good at shooting stuff on the run, by the way. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Just a female. There goes that uh, golden brown bear running away. I don't want to shoot the thing and then not be able to find it because I'm trying to do this quickly. So I figured I'd just let the red deer run away. Cool to see golden bears. I haven't shot one in a while, but I know, I think, DD33 got one off of one of my bear barrels recently. Which, uh, that's another thing. It's pretty cool to be able to do what we do. Uh, that being, like, I have three bear barrels on this map and a hog feeder on Logger's Point. And my friends and I can hunt them. And with three, it's pretty easy to rotate. So I can hunt one, two friends can hunt one. And then the next day, two friends can hunt the two. And then I probably won't hunt any. And then the next next time, somebody can hunt the one that I had hunted previously. And it'll be up around uh, 60 or 70 attractiveness again. And huntable for sure. Double lung, I don't know how. We got double lung at that angle, but not bad. And, uh, yeah, we can kind of rotate like that. And that's kind of what we do. Like, DD33 has feeders that uh, myself and some of his friends, uh, our friends, uh, get to hunt. So that way it doesn't hurt to your this and we can get more out of it. But, yeah, there's another bear out there. That's a cool thing to do if you have some friends that play the game. If you guys kind of want to share feeders and stuff that way it doesn't hurt your attractiveness and you can all get to hunt often and I like hunting all the species on this map which is why I chose this map to have my barrel set on that and the fact that I don't even need a tent I have all the barrels within a I think 800 or 850 meter radius of the north lodge and I can show you where those are I suppose I'll just do it quickly Take a screenshot of that or whatever if you want to set it up. I don't know if the one farthest to the east is going to be 100% attractiveness or not yet as I've just set it up recently, but we'll find that out as time goes by. But it's a cool setup to be able to have uh, like that. So, yeah, I don't really remember what time we started on the hunter mate we, what time we started the 15 minutes but when bandy cam stops for the 10 minute break red box I don't want to take the time to call that in unfortunately when bandy cam stops for the break I'll just see and try to get five minutes but yeah ran out of stuff to talk about again <laughs> guess we'll just run along and see if something reminds me of something I don't know if running's the best way to do this or not, but I wanted to cover as much ground as possible 
in the uh, 15 minutes that we have. What do we have? Three kills right now? Yeah, we have the two red deer and the fox. I was hoping to get four or five. And we haven't... It hasn't been ten minutes yet. I know it's been probably close to ten minutes. But I don't know. I think this is cool, though. I think this could be something that we do in the future. And we can alternate between, like, let's go... Was that a rodeo or a fox? Or a rabbit. That's probably what it was. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'll alternate between this. There went Bandicam. Okay, so that was ten minutes. We got five minutes to go. Let's see if we can kill a couple more things. As I was saying, uh, alternate between this Let's Go Hunting and uh, the Hunter Challenges, as well as other things. And I don't think montages are ever going to completely leave the channel. I try to cut down on them because I like the personal aspect of me being able to talk to you guys. But I just like editing montages. I like watching montages that other people make. Uh, I just really enjoy them. I don't really know why. Maybe it's the music or whatever it is. I just think they're fun to do. So I'll probably continue to make them. Maybe not as many as I have in the past, but I I will most likely continue to have those on the channel. We're just running after this brown bear. There's another one. If we could find something that I can actually shoot, that'd be great. Oh, there's a red deer. Looks like a solid-sized one. Some grass in the way. That's a nice one. Probably a 210-ish, I don't know. I didn't look at him a lot because we're just... I'm not entirely sure what happens when I accidentally turn on sticky keys, which I just did. So if there was a little edit in the footage there, that's what happened. And again, I forgot to check what time this was. So I'm going to say we have four minutes left about... At 8.36 Hunter Mate time, I think we'll end it. So hopefully we can get one more kill. And that'll probably be it for this. But yeah, that was a pretty good sized red deer. I don't think I'll take a trophy shot of it. Even though it was a nice one. Because uh, we're trying to make this happen as fast as possible. But yeah, it was definitely a good one. Yeah, it's a nice red deer. Can we cross here? No. That's the bad thing about doing this map. Like, if I'm going to do it unedited, i got to run around and try to find places that I can cross the river quickly. And I'm not doing a very good job of that, am I? Oh, man. This isn't good. Uh... Yeah, I wish I knew this area of the map a bit better. Oh, can we get through here? No. Come on, you're killing me here. I think we gotta go, like, here-ish. Yeah, I think we can cross here. Okay, good. Might still be able to get that last kill in before we have to wrap up this video. I sure hope we can, at least. Okay, here's our red deer. Definitely a pretty good one. Oh, he doesn't have as high a rack as I thought. Probably not going to score. Yeah, 207, that's pretty good. Double lung at, what was it, 188 meters? Usually I like to look and just say what it was. But with the bullpup, not as important, as powerful as a gun as it is. As powerful of a gun as it is. I swear, any time I try to say that sentence, I always say what I just said, as powerful as a gun, as it is, or of it is. I always mess the words up. What do we got there? Brown bear. I think we're far enough from the barrel to shoot it. How far away are we? Oh, yeah. Now, I've read that chasing them off the barrel and then shooting them will still hurt your attractiveness, but from experience, I found that it doesn't. So we're just going to try it and hope that it doesn't. But then again, it's the beginning of the week, so uh, we usually, uh, my friends and I usually don't get to hunt together as much until closer to the end of the week a lot of times, so it won't be that big of a deal if it does indeed take our attractiveness away. Uh, I'd kind of rather have the 30-odd-6 because I think 
it's better for dropping bears and oh I think I found something better yeah we'll shoot the red deer instead just to uh, err on the side of caution as far as the bear barrel goes so alright he's down nice surprised I didn't turn on sticky keys again I tried to stand up quickly and hit shift a couple times I think there's a way to turn that off I just never have I'll have to look into that uh, after this video yeah I'm not gonna shoot the bear it's not big anyway so it wouldn't be worth accidentally ruining my attractiveness over so yeah and by the way the barrel that that would be hurting is the one that uh, DD and I shot silver tips off of last week so if you haven't saw that video make sure you go check it out it was pretty cool to see two silver tips I never got to personally see them at the same time but he did have a picture of him I don't know if he ever got video footage of it himself either but he definitely had the photo at least but yeah that was definitely really cool and the albino brown bear that I shot uh, if you haven't seen that check that out as well <laughs> doing some uh, I don't even know the word for myself doing something for myself uh, where was that red deer at over here I think but yeah it was also close to that barrel, although there was no food in it. Well, if I could find the red deer. I know he fell in one of the little um, spaces. But, okay, there he is. We are almost there. Alright, so this video might have went a bit longer than it was supposed to, but not too much. 208, not bad. I think we'll take a trophy shot just to end the video with... Again... This keeps happening when I shoot stuff. I end up in a very tight position to try to take the trophy shot. Try to just flip them like that. I don't know. I like to take trophy shots that look relatively realistic. Like, not hold it up in the air. Because that that just isn't real. Because I, as realistic as this game is, I like to keep the trophy shots and everything realistic. But I don't want to talk too much. I think this went pretty well. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I do want to do it again in the future. But for now, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.